Welcome to Ranch Vlog number six. <laughs> By the way, I taught him that. So what do you teach, what is this exactly? What is he doing? This is called rearing. I don't really have much to say about this, honestly. It was just something fun that I wanted to teach him that all the, or, uh, all the other horses, yes, can do. How long can you hold it? Um, a couple seconds, he's still learning. Eventually I want him to hold it up for like five seconds. But he actually just learned this about, what, three days ago? Whoa! Yes, that one was good. Whoa! What in the world? Oh my god, Bruce. We're gonna go into the orange patch. Basically the garden. We have trees, we have orange trees, tangerines, lemons, slimes. Uh, we got some pomegranates in there and uh, we're hoping to put a little bit more stuff like cucumbers, carrots, but uh, we need some more space and some really good soil. And You know what we really need? Cow manure? I can't. Calvin, we don't need the cow. I'm getting a cow. He does this every time. We don't need the cow. I want to bring the cow. Yeah, that's the orange patch. So we, uh, we grow a lot of things up there. We really like to grow things up there as much as possible. We leave, our, we leave the cow up there because although it's more for my entertainment and pleasure, she does leave fresh manure for the roots. So, tons of nitrogen for the, the animals to eat and feed off of. Is that true? Of. It is. Okay. Are you sure you're not just saying that because you like cow? No. Uh, I, no. The cow, the cow is beneficial to the environment if you want to grow things. Right, you cow? By the way, the reason why we're bringing you guys here is because we really want to encourage everyone to grow Plant. their own vegetables or plants or herbs. Eventually, we can't rely on corporations to supply and make us comfortable. Our lifestyles, we have to remember the natural and profound way of living. And that's by growing things that naturally were here before us. So this is the little garden. A little garden? Little garden, you saw our lemons. Ha, they're not lemons, they're limes. And these are our little tangerines. Our universe made these. Our soil, our sun, our water. Everything, us. And our love. Because, you know, plants require a lot of attention. It, it may not look like it. You could just plant something and let it just grow. But plants don't usually grow like that. They need love. They need attention. They, they need commitment. That was commitment. <laughs> oh. My grandmother, um, when we lived in Puerto Rico, she used to have lime and lemon trees in her backyard. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Fresh lemon. Why did your dad want lemon trees? I don't know. He said that it was part of a, a ranch, uh, something that could uh, survive in the sun, which was, you know, survive. citrus and things that didn't. The real reason why is because he's Mexican, he loves lemons, and he didn't want to pay for them anymore. That's right. Tony, have the camera smell it. Damn it. It's a bomb. Mm -hmm. Is this ready? Can you give him words of affirmation? You were grown with the much, as much effort as no. you have possibly used. Babe, I'm eating him. Why did you do that? He wasn't ready, Calvin. I like picking fruit. No, you can't pick fruit that is not grown. It's a spiritual act. Oh my God. This is not... Uh, no, that was the only one. Calvin. Not only that, but the one that wasn't ready. So even if he... He is ready. He's fine. He's not ready. He's not okay, even... Okay, he's a little abnormal, but we're not going to say that to her because like, she, then she wins. 
Here, just take it. I'm going to eat him and I'm going to eat him in front of Ariana. I'm just going to show you the pomegranates. Come on. Cool. These you could definitely see. Here's a pomegranate. Uh, this is the Chinese garden. I'm gonna bring this bad boy over here. You see how huge it is? It's really huge. Oh, that bad boy up there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This bad boy, who almost, by the way, is going bad. Let it go. Try to pick it off like an enemy. Yeah, bro. I thought it would. I thought it would give more easier. Let's see if this is still good. It has been in the sun for a little bit. I don't know how to open these. Do you have a technique that could? Look. Like, you opened it like a true Floridian. Yeah. Wow, babe, you're wild. Dang. But. Mmm. Feeling good, guys. Right. Come on, JD. Mmm, there's juice in there. Yep, free snacks. What a little about Earth. Free snacks, not bad. Thanks, Earth. This is Bobby. He's absolutely the coolest guy here on the ranch. He came from a very dangerous place. His previous owner allowed his dog to play with him every day. His actual backside was completely shredded apart, um, bleeding, missing pieces, because uh, his dog was actually attacking Bob for pleasure. We rescued him from that uh, situation and from that home and never spoke to the owner since. It took him a long time to come around and trust dogs and, uh, and us again. We've had him for at least five years, uh, maybe over five years. He's had an absolutely wonderful transformation. What have you noticed like the difference since he got here to now? When we first met him, he was absolutely horrified. Uh, at everything that was moving fast and anything that was approaching him, he just would run away in, in, a, in a panic. Now we can come up to him and actually hand feed him. His behavior absolutely changed like dramatically because of how much he trusts us. This for him in the beginning would have been impossible. He's doing much better now. What's your favorite thing about Bob? My favorite thing about Bob is his little curly hairs he has up here. Uh, he also likes that uh, we, we touch him and braid them. Um, you braid them sometimes? Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, Ariana will do like little trenzas because he actually looks really cute with like one little, one little uh, cornrow. Kacha, mi kacha. I want mi kacha. It's mi kacha. It's mi. Oh, it's Let me kacha. Isn't she the cutest chicken? I know, we've already spoken about Mikasa many times, but I don't care. She's still here, guys, yeah, yeah. giving us some really awesome eggs. She's the cutest girl in the world. Honestly, she's sassy. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Do you want me to go get the eggs? Oh my god, a Mikasa egg. Hey! No, this one's Mikasa egg. These are just, this is a cinnamon queen, and this one is, um, she's not around right now. Are you oh, proud of this? Okay. Does this make you proud? Yeah. She made that. Come here. And you, this one's becoming my friend now. I like her the most. Come here, Roska. Yeah. Look at her buche. Is her buche is all full. Buche. Yeah, you see a little buche. Little buche. Yeah, buche. <laughs> little buche. It's the buche right here. See, it's like abnormally larger than the rest. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's just where they hold their food like a hamster. And then this is like a little click going on here. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. She's Mikasa's friend. That one who just picked her. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the pecking order, can you? Let's go make some eggs. The shell has a lot of nutritional value. I like to squeeze it and then I'll throw it into the garden so that the plants can use the nutrition from the actual shell.
And then, obviously, you know, in my culture, uh, you need to have some kind of carb or starch. Cowgirls just does this, that's, that's cool for cowgirls. This is the best thing that we could possibly provide to her, which is things that Mr. Philly would cut anyways. This stuff gets dry after a long season. It just makes sense to have a cow over here to mow the lawn, let her do what she needs to do. You know what I'm saying? It, it's totally... Uh, How'd she make it vibrate? I don't know. I didn't know. Obviously, all of these things we would never really consider edible hey why do why do dogs be eating grass fool when dogs stomachs hurt they naturally want to start absorbing something that's really lighter on their stomach the grass will itch the stomach in a certain way and it'll scrub it can actually provide some kind of like a toothbrush with the leaves that the way that they're textured they'll scrape and scrub all of the intestinal things that wasn't agreeing with them inside and they'll puke it out and they feel much better <laughs> 